It's Eminago. So I'm doing this makeup tutorial today and this is a first impressions makeup tutorial. And as always with my first impressions tutorial, tutorials, uh, everything on my face right now is something completely new that I have never tried before. And throughout the video you guys will hear my thoughts on the products. So I'm using mainly Urban Decay and um, ELF in this video. So let me zoom you guys in so you can see it. So this is the look. So yeah, with all my new products I decided to do like a bronzy eye look with a little bit of pink and a bright pink lip. And I really think this look is super cute. So anyways, I'm going to go get some dinner now because I'm hungry as fuck. But yeah, I hope you guys like this look. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to watch in high definition for the best picture quality. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So here comes the tutorial. So I'm starting out with my Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner. So it's very creamy. So I'm going to apply this well all over my face, but I'm starting around the areas where I have big pores. So for my foundation today, I'm going to try out this e.l.f. Um, Studio Tinted Moisturizer and my color is in Nude. And you guys, I was actually thinking about this the other day and I don't think that I have ever used a tinted moisturizer before. I have used BB creams, but I don't think I have ever used a tinted moisturizer. So I'm going to shake it up and I'm going to use my fingers to apply it since it is a moisturizer, tinted moisturizer. It smells good and it glides on smoothly but it's very light coverage but of course it is a tinted moisturizer so. And it really seems to soak up into my skin quickly but yeah so far it feels good. So it feels super lightweight. It is very light coverage, but of course that's what you can expect from a tinted moisturizer. And in that aspect, I do like it. And it does have an SPF of 20, so I think this will be perfect for the summertime. So now let's move on to concealer. I'm going to use this 10-piece concealer palette from T-Mart. So I think I'm going to mix this color and this color for my skin and then this color and this color for my other eye highlight. So I'm using my sponge so that I can cover a larger area. And I think this concealer is a little bit too red for my skin. As you can see it goes on pretty orange. I'm just going over with a little bit of the lightest color just to make sure my face doesn't look too orange. So I'm just going to highlight my forehead and down the nose and I'm going to highlight around the nose as well and then of course underneath the eyes and I don't really know what I think about these concealers um, I think it's a good palette to have if you often get spray tans and you often have you know your skin tone is often different so you always have a concealer to match but they are pretty like thin in consistency but I think you know the coverage is okay so I mean it's not bad at all but I definitely have to try it out some more and I'm actually going to mix this color and this color to use as a cream contour <laughs> okay so once I look like a crazy person I'm going to take my sponge again and blend this out so we'll see how it turns out <laughs> Okay, so that's actually not too bad. It blends very easily. I have never tried this kind of contour technique before. It's very intimidating. <laughs> I think I went a little ham. So doesn't that look cute? <laughs> I definitely went a little too ham on the contour, especially up here around the forehead. Good lord. Okay you guys, I'm just going to take a stipple brush and pick up some concealer and I'm definitely going to go ahead and blend this out <laughs> so it doesn't look so crazy and then I'm going to blend it into my hairline so now I just need to blend out the nose contour I'm going to try and do that with my finger and then I'm going to use my sponge so that's the whole highlining, concealing and contour done 
Um, I think I like it. Yeah, I think I do. So now I'm going to set it with some powder. I'm using my e.l.f. Um, Essentials Clarifying Press Powder in the color Ivory. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. Essentials Total Face Brush. So I'm just applying that powder. And off the bat, this brush feels very... Oh! Oh! It feels very not soft. It feels very prickly on the skin. And as you can see, it really sheds like a motherfucker. So, so far I'm not a fan of the brush. The powder, however, seems okay. It is very like dusty though. It produces a whole lot of like fallout. And I am using this powder all over, including as my under eye powder. So now I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette. So I'm going to use this color to bronze, this one to highlight, and this one to blush out my face. So I'm actually just going to take the same brush and use the bronzer. And I'm just going to go ahead and lightly bronze up my face to give me some color. So I just kind of apply this over the contoured areas. And I do think this gives a lovely bronzed look to the skin. And then I'm going to take the blush color and apply that right on the apple. And then I'm going to use the highlighter. So now that I have all my face makeup on, I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm going to use this to spray all over my face to hopefully um, really lock in those products. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, Ooh, okay. So now I'm trying out the e.l.f. Soothing Lip Balm in the color Strawberry Cream. And I'm just going to use this to hydrate my lips before I go ahead and do lipstick and all that. This smells incredibly good. It smells like strawberry ice cream. It smells incredible. And it does actually give you a light hint of pink on your lips. So I'm already a fan. But yeah, I'm going to let that work on my lips. And in the meantime, we're going to do the eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to take this brow comb and brush from Elves Essentials line. And for my brows, I'm going to use the brow bar to go from Whitening Lightning, and I have it in blonde to brunette. So it comes with two um, colors and then a wax, and I've seen people use the wax just all throughout the eyebrows before they put on the color. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just applying the wax throughout my eyebrows. It feels quite strange. <laughs> and I'm going to work with one eyebrow at a time. So I'm starting out with this one. And then I'm going to take these eyebrow stencils from e.l.f. And I'm going to see which one is the best for my eyebrows. I think I'm going to go for this one. So then I just go ahead and, you know, fill it in. And that is what my eyebrow look like. So I'm just going to do some tweaking since it didn't fit my eyebrow 100% perfectly. So this is the final result. I actually really like both the eyebrow stencil and the brow bar. Okay, so that was actually super fun and I think my eyebrows look very nice. So I'm going back into my concealer palette and just taking a little bit of that. And I'm going to use this as a base on my eyelids. But I'm only applying like a very thin layer because I don't want it to crease, of course. And you guys, I'm sorry if the lighting keeps on changing. The sun is so incredibly bright today. But anyways, now I'm going to use my Urban Decay Wise 2 palette. So I'm going to use Habit and Rewind. So they are both matte brown colors. But Habit is a bit too light and Rewind is a bit too dark. So that's why I'm mixing them. So I'm just going to use the brush that comes with the palette to apply this as my transition color. And actually you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but the, either the foundation or the concealer or something like that is breaking up right around my nose and around my lips. But anyways, I'm going to continue with the other eye. So now I'm going to take my little Urban Decay palette. So I have four colors in here and I'm going to start out with Half Baked and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid and as you guys can see this is a beautiful beautiful color so I love this color, it's just so nice and pigmented 
as you can see this is just like one swipe across the eyelid and you guys I can see my foundation breaking up more and more on my ne on my nose especially on this side I don't know if you guys can tell but it's not looking pretty but anyways I'm going to take the color next to it it's called X and this is going to be our inner corner highlight then I'm going to take ELF's Essentials Defining Eye Brush and I'm going to take the color Sin over here and I'm going to apply this in the crease and I really love this brush. It makes it so easy to um, to just apply eyeshadow in the crease and blend it out. And then I'm going to take Elf's Essentials Eye Crease Brush. And I'm going to take the color Mushroom. And I'm going to apply this in the outer corner. And again, I really love this brush. Um, Elf's Essentials Eye Brushes are great. I don't think the face brushes are as good, but the eye brushes are definitely great. So for my Vice 2 palette, I'm going to take the color Dope. And I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of that as my brow bone highlight. Okay, so now I'm going to take the e.l.f. Essentials Smudge Eye Sponge. And I'm going to take the color Coax from the Vice 2 palette. And I'm going to apply this along my lower lash line. I hope you guys can see this color because it's so incredibly pigmented and pretty. So now I'm going to use this Urban Decay Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm just doing a very intense like cat eyeliner. So I think for the price this is actually a nice eyeliner. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. Essentials Mechanical Eyelash Curler. So I just went ahead and curled my lashes off camera. So the mascara I'm going to try today is the e.l.f. Essentials Mascara. So I have tried the waterproof version, but today I'm going to try the regular version. So I'm just going to apply one little coat of this. Okay, so I just applied one coat of this mascara, and this mascara is not phenomenal. But it's not super bad either, and for the price, it's an okay buy. So the lashes I'm going to use are these Red Cherry number 110. So you guys, I added my false lashes, and I just applied a little bit of mascara along the bottom lashes. And this is what the eyes look like. I really loved the eyeshadows, um, and I also really like these lashes, I think they're pretty. And my chin is looking shiny. Okay, so we are going to move on to the lips. I'm going to use this ELF Essentials Longwear Lip Liner Pencil. This is in the color Natural Blush. So I'm outlining my lips. So I'm super pleased. It was so nice and pigmented and so smooth. I love the color and I loved the consistency. I really love this. So for lipsticks, I'm going to mix my Wet n Wild um, Dollhouse Pink lipstick with my e.l.f. Um, Essentials lipstick in Classy. So I'm starting out with e.l.f. And if you guys know me, you know I love the $1 e.l.f. lipsticks. So I'm just going to brighten it up with the Wet n Wild. Okay, so I already love this pink lip and I think it looks beautiful like with the matching eyeshadow and the lips. But I just want to, um, well, I want to try out this lip gloss. <laughs> so this is the W7 Mega Matte Lips. And this is in the color Oddball. I'm just going to pop that right on top. As you guys can see, it's very pigmented. Okay, so now that I have that on, I think I'm actually all done. Okay, you guys, so now we are actually done. So I think the final look is cute. I really loved the brow products, the eyeshadows. I really like the lashes and I really love the Urban Decay like um, naked flushed face palette. Um, I don't know what I think about the concealer and the foundation. It has started to separate on my nose and on my chin and above my lips. So I definitely have to play around with that some more to find out how I like it. But yeah, so far not too bad. And I must say I'm in love with this pink lip. I have missed doing bright pink lips. But yeah, anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it. 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye.